The name of this game is Aerocraft. No, it is actually Minecraft. However, the mod pack of the game I'm playing at the moment is Aerocraft. Here, this little area here. I originally thought that I wanted to build my base over here, or at least my second base, whatever. I thought I wanted to build here, but don't really feel like it. Uh, there are definitely... Oh, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, so, as I was saying, there are some incredibly useful things here. There are incredible trades that are useful from dice villagers. But that's not my experience farm. Oh, my experience farm is not as close as I thought. I just need to rush there real quickly. Yep, there we go, I got here. Let me just place the lava, please. Oh, my lava area, how beautiful. Whew. Right, now that I'm heating up. Uh, oh, yeah, here's part of the farm. Well, a failed part. The actual part of the farm is right over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this guy can spawn. Oh! Oh, we have the defender of the area! There we go, don't worry, buddy, I took care of it. Uh, whatever, though, I really need to craft some purified lava. I'll do just that, but that's between the episodes. For now, I just need a little bit. Whatever, though, it's time for me to explain to you how incredibly broken is the farm I made. Probably should place a hidden coil as well, just so that I have something uh, right over here. Sure. Into the middle of nothingness. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, there are multiple aspects to this farm. I'll explain it to you. First things first, you need to be kind of lucky and you need to be at a decent level. And by a decent level I mean you have to have a way to not freeze to that every 3 seconds if you want to make this work. Or, something which is much smarter and better, to go on ahead, get leads and bring the villagers to your base. First I need to heat up a little bit though, then I'll show you what's the base all about. Whatever though, the idea is simple. Uh, this is not the most efficient way to do it. But first, you need a lot of snow. And obviously an incredible way to do it is to simply have a snowman, a helper. There we go, just grind through the snow. Not ideal, as you can see there are some snowballs there. I'm certain I can prove it. Whatever though, it works good enough. And if you're wondering why you would need snow, it's actually incredibly simple. And very useful. These guys give you sapphires for snow. If you're thinking this is not that big of a deal because you haven't seen what you can get from sapphires, you're completely and utterly wrong. Because, for example, you can get diamond tools with sapphires, but that's not the best in the slightest. Also, wow, isn't it? Oof, it is remarkably cold here. Definitely need the purified lava, though. Very essential. Let me just check how it was crafted. Flows slightly faster and no inferno mobs spawn in this can be renewed like water. Yeah, just incredible. Ah, whatever though. Now that I have stopped fantasizing about lava, let's just get... Ooh, no snow here. What you must do in order to make this work is stupidly simple. As I said, just get a lot of snow and max out the trade of a villager. I'll show it to you right now. I mean, in a few seconds or so, I just need to collect it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The healing coil is doing nothing at the moment, but we are outside, so I wouldn't expect to do that much. Uh, if I place you here, I don't think you actually melt the, uh, the snow blocks, just the snow tiles or whatever it is. Whatever, I'm getting distracted. So, the goal is simple. If you want a great experience farm, you really should look for a villager that just has an incredibly small amount of snow. It doesn't really matter what, how many rubies, it can be 10, it can be 1. The only thing you should care about is how much it actually costs, because there are some that require 28 snow blocks. It's just way more annoying. But, just go on ahead, do this, max out the trade, some experience, and yeah, whenever they get this effect, that means they have restocked, and wife is easy because you can do this as many times as you like. Sometimes, occasionally, uh, 
they don't max out just from this one, right? I think he's not going to max out this time, right? No, he is. Uh, so yeah, but sometimes they don't. And whenever that happens, you just have to go on ahead and give up some of your sapphires in order to buy something else and max it out. Whenever he resets, you can sell more of your snow and just have a lot of fun. So yeah, this guy sells leather and most importantly the diamond shovel and some frost throw leather if you want. But yeah, super easy farm. You really don't need much of it. And actually one of the most important parts of it is the fact that... Wait... Uh, is he going to reset? Mm. Yeah, he is. Perfect. So yeah, whatever. The most important part is that he actually sells shovels. So, you can ah. ju just with him alone, you can have a great farm. And it's kind of strange that he has two different shovel traits. He's not exactly the best. Whatever yeah. though, he's good enough. As I said, the most important yeah. thing is this trait over here. Super essential. So yeah, once you have enough sapphires, you can go on ahead, talk with other villagers, which are actually in the in the area I just left. There actually I found the villager that sells fire... No, it's ice dragon blood. And that's how I was able to get this beautiful ice dragon bone halberd. Halberd. Other villagers you can farm with is this guy. He just sells raw fish, and actually I got remarkably lucky because I've seen some that sell it for 10 or 20 And this guy just sells it for 2 And also he sells you the fishing spear, which always gives you one of the 4 types vanilla fish I'm positive there were 4 You don't need m many materials in order to take full advantage of this And there are also other trades that I don't really find that valuable, but if you ever need them, it's just cool that they are there so yeah, I showed you the farm, but that's not even the best part of it, because there are many aspects. So you remember how this guy sells diamond shovels? Well, in aerial craft, uh, wait. Also, am I getting better from the heat? Please, I'm getting kind of worried here. Yeah, whatever. So diamond shovels. Yep, diamond shovels can be smelted into diamond coin. In other words. Also, something interesting enough, I think they sell only shovels. So yeah, I've seen only silver, iron, and diamond shovels. Not certain whether they sell gold or any other types of materials when it comes to shovels. But I'm very positive they sh sell only shovels. Whatever though, depending on the types of shovels they have, first, you can have some remarkably broken shovels. I think I have some legendary ones. Not in this one, I think I left them in my base. Whatever though, these few fishes that you see right over there, I got only from three fishing spears, I think. And that's not all, because I did sell most of the raw fish for sapphires. So yeah, the ice villagers are one of the best things that has that have ever happened to me. And yeah, just look at this, 48 diamond coin, and two levels, just levels, materials, you get absolutely everything from these guys. They are the reason I didn't quit this playthrough. Just remarkable. I love them. And a very easy way to go on ahead and actually deal with them. When it comes to a fish, I, I don't know how you can grind a lot of fish in Aerocraft. I guess you can build an AFK, AFK fishing farm. That's going to do it. Or simply use the spears for a little while. They're just... Actually, I can... I think I've done... I think I've shown you how easy are these things to use. Just... Look at this. I hold shift. And... There we go. Just this. That's everything. I don't need to do anything else. Just hold it and I get fish. I don't get only raw fish. However... It is still a very efficient way of doing it. I'm very happy that now you actually know how I was able to get so incredibly powerful in our aircraft. I mean, I'm not really that broken at the moment, but still, I'm, just the fact that I can use dragon bone weapons, it's very important to me. Uh, should I work on this farm? Not really. I think I should go on ahead and start building a quick little base here. I do have materials. Yeah, I definitely do. I can go on ahead and craft myself a diamond axe if I really wanted to. 
Ooh, you know what I should absolutely do for this biome? Uh, between the episodes, I'll go on ahead to get some purified lava. And maybe decorate my house with that. Yeah, I think I absolutely will do that. Thanks, where do I wanna set up this quick little house? To be honest, I don't really need it to be anything fancy, I just want a quick little base. Yeah, very intelligent by the way, building my house out of wood when my only way to heat myself is with lava. Well, I do have this healing coil, just I don't really see it as very efficient. Oh! These guys actually spawn here too, that's right. They help with uh, protecting the village, a little bit at least. Come on, come outside for a second. Oh, 20 damage. I think that hurt little Banshee. Did it. I'm so very sorry. Where's the Banshee though? I almost one shot at it. Which reminds me, I should enchant this. I do have 30 levels. Oh, I can enchant this then. Oh, I want to make this the most overpowered thing in existence. Oh, how dare you. That's what you deserve. How dare you assume? How does it even dare assume? Now that I have dragon weapons. How does it even dare to start assuming that it has a chance against me? Just... Ah, uh, the audacity of some creatures. Might as well put this in the house as well. Because it's kind of supposed to be my way of heating myself up while not burning my house down. Oh, the fact that I'll never need shovels ever again. Or actually, I'll never need any tools because I pretty much have an infinite amount of diamonds. Yeah, this farm I have, which can be made so much better with just a little bit of thinking. If I spend even three more minutes, I'm certain I can be way more efficient. However, even this that I have at the moment is absolutely incredible. Oh wow, there are many banshees here. Just noticed you. I need to drink real quickly. I'll destroy you in a second. No worries. I'm not really feeling the fear, you know. So there is something very fun about this ice dragonborn halberd. So the ice versions of the dragonborn weapons do a very interesting freezing effect. And because the Banshee are not exactly restrained by physics, they can fall on the ground. Which, in other words, straight up sends them to the nothingness that is below the world. Whatever though, the point being, with the Dragonborn Halberd, Banshees are practically worthless. How much it actually drops them, as I said, it's probably 50 bucks, so maybe eventually they're gonna come back. But this thing does 20 damage with no enchantments. So yeah, I'm pretty positive that I'm secured from pretty much 70% of all creatures in Arrowcraft. Oh, I know I mentioned that in the last episode, but am I just not a genius? I set up my desert base during the summer and I'm setting up this base in an ice biome during the winter. I'm just the best player there is, isn't that so? Yeah, when I'm done with this base I think I'll need at least 5 heating coils to be perfectly fine. Or maybe when I enclose the area I'm just gonna be fine and I won't need to have lava in my wooden house. Or maybe I should just go on ahead, get back to my base and craft the pure lava. No, I have many plans for the pure lava and they do not include this episode. I really want to go on ahead and build waystones. I understand why their crafting recipe isn't a piece of cake, but really, really, did it have to be that difficult? You literally have to find a way to grind withers if you want to have a consistent way of making waystones. Now they have the power to destroy half of the creatures in this game. I've had a very chill episode. But then again, what can we do? I'm just too cool for this world. As I said, who would think to go on ahead and set up their, their house in a snow biome during the winter? Just remarkable. 
pretty much the definition of big brain. That's the only way I can actually explain it. But really, I cannot think of a better way of doing it. Come on. Oh, wow, is it really that hot? Uh, I mean, cold. Close enough, right? Oh, it's really that cold. If I remove the lava, I freeze almost immediately. Uh, yeah, that book over here, actually. There we go. I know it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it does the work. Oh, perfect. It actually resets my heat. Amazing. Now, let me just go ahead and do this. Mm. Uh, if you can actually help me with one thing. I Now that I have this farm, I would say I have only one problem with it. Wood. That's the one material I haven't figured out how to get lots of. At least at the moment. There we go. Perfect. Wow. This is beautiful. Almost as amazing in my normal house. And I can expand on this. Oh, so awesome. I just need a waystone and it would be perfect. Uh, but there is one more thing I really must do before I go on ahead and just end this. Definitely one more thing. Is one enough? I want to see. Oh? Is one actually enough? <laughs> you know what? I love that. This is staying as it is. Perfection. And now I have a water source in my house as well. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. Bask in the glory of this house while you're seeing the video that YouTube recommends to you.